Okay, welcome back for another video. And maybe you have a feeling what this one means. And I just got a hold of a battery pack from a Nissan Leaf, a 24 kilowatt hour one. I'm not sure about the year, but it might be like a 2013, uh, 2014 model year. But it's supposed to be in good condition and about 75% left of its uh, capacity. So I'm gonna use this one for energy storage. And uh, first of all, we're just gonna uh, open it up, take it apart and look at all of the uh, modules inside. Try to dismantle everything. So let's get started. moisture here in the battery which is not so good um, so that's a bit uh, concerning and it's actually here in the back too moisture so I hope all the sums are okay I guess I think we have to measure and find out piece by piece. I've come to the conclusion that um, I have to remove all of the parts here in the middle before I can actually start uh, disconnecting the, these modules from each other. So that's what I'm doing. I have no idea what this is. Do you know what this is guys? Leave a comment below if you have any clue what this thing would do. Strange stuff. I took to one of your advice from my previous video where I disassembled the i3 battery pack and this time I'm actually wearing gloves. I know this is not um, the proper glove but it's at least gloves.
are these placed all around the corners here on um, on the modules. I think these are meant for heating. But there is no cooling, but at least there is uh, heating. bit concerned since there is some moisture inside but maybe it haven't done any damage so so far okay so so far all good just a bit of moisture okay so we almost got both of these two packs out of it and it was a bit hard to know where to start but uh, as soon as we removed everything in the middle then we got access to the uh, terminals here and now it's just unbolting up here and then lifting them out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna remove these and then see how much of this one we can do today. balancing the BMS for all the 48 modules looks like it at least so in this uh, part of the pack I actually found two temperature sensors one over here the one in the middle and then there's one more in here that goes out in the, in the edge and this is what they look like the probe So we got all of the 48 modules out of it and uh, this is what the structure inside looks, looks like and um, it's really different from what the design of the battery pack on the i3 is because the i3 is all aluminum but this one is all actually steel and we can see the corrosion here on the outside um, we can also see some oxidation here on the aluminum parts and the kind of seal that they went with it's like a double sealing wall here so this one looks really good the seal but um, somewhere we got moisture in here i think the moisture came from the from the fuse that the owner had re removed when he took this one out and here we see some more of that uh, corrosion i 
think it's um, it must be from a Swedish car, so uh, Swedish climate. Yeah. A lot of corrosion out here. So this is not so good if you were thinking like long term on a Nissan Leaf. Like maybe 15 years in, this battery pack would have a lot of corrosion on it. So that's really bad. On the inside though, it looks good. Um, it, it might even have been repaired. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like it's been repaired. And maybe that's why he replaced it too. But um, this is what it looks like. This took about four hours actually to disassemble completely, which is not that bad. I guess we could have done it in like um, three and a half maybe. But um, yeah. And these are all of the parts that came out of it. A few of them you see here in the camper. And here are the modules. We have a few laying in there. And all of these. So I'm gonna save the bus bars from in here and uh, some of the support brackets, the screws that go in the modules. So if you found this video interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or comments, put them below in the comment section and uh, maybe I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and maybe you want to subscribe. So, see you in the next one.